Hello, Mr. Eric, Mr. Ryan, alright? Maybe. Okay. What's burning on a tree? Hey, did you know that five years ago, Dad had these little things and they were a bit crappy? <laughs> <laughs> What's burning on a tree? Uh, it's a tree. Data structure, right? Is a data structure. Binary tree is a. It's like this. Is, oh, a, oh, oh, oh. is a graph with with, with maximum two. Is DAG. Yeah, DAG. Directed. A cyclic graph. Yeah, directed means that from parents to kids. Okay, so it's a data structure. Data structure is how the computer, how we ask computer how to store the data in an organized way. Okay, data structure. So. Binary tree, okay. What kind of order does the breakfast search order be? For this uh, particular tree? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Level by level. What's the data structure we need to use to perform a breakfast search? Q. Q, yes, Q. Q. First in, first out, right? First in, first out. And if we first in, priority out, what kind priority of Q is it? Priority Q. Priority Q, yes. Yeah, priority Q. G. Zach, what's Z again? So, one, one two. three, two, and then the next one will be four, five, six, seven, eleven, ten, nine. Okay, so what's this? That's not a zigzag, it's a line like one. Yeah, yeah. If, if, yeah. If, if four had another kid, it would be squashed. Seven. If, if, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If four had another kid, it would be squashed. What do you mean squashed? The seven is squashed, it's uneven. <sighs> <laughs> Seven is a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So the the key thing here is that prefer search always from left to the right, right? Yes? So now I'm just changing the order of uh, every other level, okay? So one, one is from left to the right. Next uh, level is from right to the left. The next one is from left to the right. The next one is from right to the left, okay? Zigzag. Yes. I want to return this, you know, array of arrays. So we want to return this. Okay. Why is three why is it three two instead of two three? That's a good question. That's how we perform a zigzag. Okay. Make it a zigzag. Make make it more interesting. So one from left to the right. And the next one right to the left. Next one left to the right, and next one, right to the left. Mm -hmm. So what kind of the algorithm can we use to, to give this uh, kind of order? Breakfast search. Yeah, it's a modified breakfast search. Yeah, let's talk about uh, breakfast search today and breakfast search in the next lesson, okay? I'm going to write the standard breakfast search. You tell me where in the code we need to modify that to make it zigzag. You mentioned that we need to use uh, Q, double ND Q. First in, first out, right? Define. The breakfast search, we have a root. The special case is that if the root given is empty, if not root or if root is none, we just need to return immediately, okay? Return an empty list. Answer equals this. At the beginning, we use a Q equals DQ. At the beginning, we put the root in, right? There's only one root in. Okay. A queue at the beginning, I put a one in. When there is any in the queue, I take it out, right? So, but we want to take all the nodes in the same level. We need to know how many nodes in the same level, which is this length. Current level, let's put it in current. At the beginning, it's empty. This, this stores the number of nodes in the same level, like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so four underscore in range n. There are n nodes in the current row, right? And I need to pop it out. So x equals q dot. We want to take this element out. What's the method? Pop left. Pop left. If we don't specify the left, which side does it take? Right, right side, okay. And then we look, this side is a pen. Okay? And if we want to append on the left hand side, what do we call it? This is a pen. A pen. A, a pen left, right? A pen left. And this side is pop. If we don't specify the left, it's on the right. Okay. This is double ended because we can do this push and pop on two sides. Double ended. Q dot pop left. Okay. Current append x, right? Then if x dot left, 
we have a left now q dot append x dot left and we need to do this for the same for the right tree if there is the right tree q dot append x dot right and return return answer okay so now we have this cover right after these no we need to push it to answer answer dot append current node okay return answer this is standard breakfast search this is kind of repeated right if we check in if the node has the left node we push it to in if it has the right node we push it to in right so we can do a loop for loop for kit yeah kit in x dot left x dot right right and then if the kit is not long if kit or if kit is not long then we do this q dot append kit right and that's it yes so okay so let, let's emulate this breakfast search okay uh -huh. i put a one in right i take everything in the queue how many nodes are in the queue now one right just one right uh -huh. so i take it out one here what's the kit of one three and two yeah three and two so i push it two and three in right two and three how many kids are in the queue now two yeah which are two and three two and three they are in the same level right so i take it out what's the kit of two four five okay what's the kit of three nothing yeah nothing we just skip okay so basically this is what the breakfast search is on the left hand side this will give the order one two three four five so which line of code we need to change to make it you know zigzag coming back to the subject the second the even lines need to need to be reversed yeah so this line needs to be reversed but this line not right this yeah. line not. so how do we know if it's an even line we check so look at this answer thing right one two three four five right something like that so we are adding the one two three uh, row by row to it so we just have to check the length of the answer right so if it's the if current current elements of answers is odd number then we need to reverse this right so we need to reverse these two three all right but not like right so how can we do this so we just have to check change this row, right yeah look answer dot append current right make sense so we just have to check if the length of the answer is an odd number right if it's an odd number then the next one i need to i need to reverse it if it's an odd number answer dot append how do we reverse it how do we reverse current column column minus one otherwise answer dot append just put it straight away okay this is only the difference right we just want to make it more interesting by reversing the even row okay when we have an odd number of rows in the answer the next one to reverse okay and the next one not next one to reverse got it to reverse yeah one two three four five how do we reverse it column column minus one but if we want to use the algorithm what kind of algorithm how do we reverse one two three four five two point up yeah this left and right one five what do we do with switch, one five switch them swap they'll become five and one right and then five and one and then what do we do they move go, together and then swap them and if they meet they that's it right. okay time to next day for this one obviously we need to visit every tree every node in the tree right so what's new today how to make a zigzag? Click, 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 click. What kind of algorithm do we use today? Buffer search, you just said it. Yeah, buffer search, but it's one modification of the buffer search. We need to reverse the even. Yeah, we need to reverse it at even number of rows. Okay, okay let's see for today. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.